intelligent humanoid robots, as depicted in science fiction films, are still soon to be the surprises of the future. Still, many more South Korean companies in diverse industries have started to embrace simplified robots to stay competitive in the long term. Not only telecom companies and internet sites, but also tech startup companies relying on digital sites are rushing to implement robots to foster the long-term possibilities with robots in conjunction with machine intelligence, cloud technology, and next-generation mobile technology. While automated production robots have long been employed in this industry, online platform companies are searching for more advanced types that can add value when blended with other cutting-edge innovations. A few companies are creating robots with humanoid faces and realistic facial expressions that depend only on a few cartoon movements. We can't decide which is more disturbing. It would be terrifying if 3D bioprinted skin were added to either. They're on their way. Because of 3D printing, the realistic humanoid robots from widely known movies and TV shows may be closer than you think. A South Korean 3D printing company, Gluck, has produced numerous super-duper robots with its fleet of wide-format Cubicon SLA 3D printers, now residing at the Wiko Automated 3D Printing Factory in Seoul. The humanoid robots were made for a setup at Gentle Monster's New Dyke Supermarket in Hanum, a native designer eyeglass brand. The Matronic work of art is intended to represent an industrial robot production line. The humanoid robot components were all 3D printed using wide-format SLA innovation with remarkably hyper-realistic surface finishing. A urethane surface coat was also used to ensure the longevity of the polymeric photo 3D printed parts. Glucktam, which takes pride in constantly enhancing the features of their SLA system applications, used a very high-definition texture to recreate clogged pores on each human-looking robot's face. Comprehensive post-processing was required to achieve a realistic skin color. Gluck's artistic and manufacturing capabilities are spectacular, and it uses a fleet of more than 20 extremely large SLA systems. In 2021, the company launched the Wiko 3D Printing Facility in Pajo, Korea's largest manufacturing 3D printing automation production plant. Presenting 16 Cubicon Max 600 SLA systems with a brief plan for widespread silicon molds and surgical simulation software, and a comprehensive strategy to add a metal 3D printing company. Wico 3D Printers Corporation Limited was founded through a strategic alliance with former Lock and Lock Chief Executive Officer and current CEO Kim Cheng Ho of Silimon, as per Korean news site M News with schemes to accomplish a commercial 3D printing automation production line. The companies chose Kubicon, CEO Cho Duan, a high-vision system corporation specializing in 3D printing technology, as a supplier to necessity manufacturing equipment. At the location, 20 SLA 3D printing machines will be used. Aside from large production of industrial medical components like silicon molds, simple molds, QDM, and surgical simulation devices, the company's aim for the print-on-demand market, allowing customers to manufacture their refined products. We have begun to construct a massive 3D printing automation production plant to raise commercial production, which was previously capped of 3D printers, said Jake Hung, CEO of Gluck Corporations and director of Wiko 3D Printers. Aside from mass component manufacturing and on-demand manufacturing for startups, the company also offers assistance to customers who wish to internalize digital additive bulk manufacturing capacity. Since 2013, Gluck has developed more than 10,000 working prototypes using 3D printers and has gained a lot of experience. The firm works with a specialized 3D printing lab, the Gluck 3D Printing Fantastic Lab, supporting industry and medical technicians through the manufacturing space. Cubicon and Wiko 3D printers helped in promoting the establishment of the maker space. Through additional funding, Gluck intends to expand its fleet to more than 100 commercial 3D printing machines in the coming years. The company also intends to purchase several 3D printers to move into the metal component manufacturing business and maintain economic competitiveness. Based on the 3D printing machine, 3D printers automation factory, Gluck CEO Hong said, We will do our finest to progress the era where anyone with only an idea can manufacture things through 3D printing. We search for more to complementaries through collaborative efforts with Wiko 3D and Glue Printers, which are more preparations to promote professional laboratories alongside Cubicon. 
in the very first era of market space, said Du Wan Cho, CEO of Cubicon. With this signed contract as a benefit, we will continue investing in the long term so that Cubicon's 3D printing machines can be used. Do you ever fantasize about your job? The employees at this 3D printing machine production plant in Korea must have had some bad dreams. Even nightmares when creating human robot hands and faces for residing. However, watching the production line process in action is fascinating and terrifying. This robot production plant assembly line produces robot faces that float in space. UV lasers consolidate polymer solutions in 3D printers, enabling softer textures than typical user market printers, frequently leaving abnormal lines. The procedure produces a structural layer that must be removed. And when you make robot faces, it comes out of the nasal passages and goes behind the eyes. While creepy, some of it appears to be satisfying. It's like bursting bubble wrap when you crack the lattice. Other technology companies are also keen to enter the rapidly evolving robot industry, even though the vast majority of manufacturers that have made investments in the sector have yet to profit, as it ends up taking time to produce robots as well as to get other companies to implement them for a fee. According to Korean Robot Manufacturing Development Agency, the household robot market was estimated at $5.33 trillion, or $4.58 billion, in 2019. According to Sense at Upward Trend, the Korean administration introduced that it would assist in raising the value of the robot industry to $20 trillion by 2025. Since the beginning of the COVID pandemic earlier the year before, technology companies' initiatives for robot systems have gained some traction with people preferring non-contract money transfers to avoid the coronavirus. But Dao Minjok, an online food delivery startup, entered the robotics sector faster than its competitors back in 2019. The firm is testing delivery robotic system in various settings to create advanced versions for its supply chain. According to Badal Minjok, a commercial variant of the delivery robot could be released as early as this year. Telecom companies in Korea are eager to grow their robot-based companies to utilize their huge infrastructure and customer bases better. KT recently began selling robotic systems on its website following the release of the 5G-based industry produces industrial robot developed in partnership with Hyundai Robotics. Meanwhile, Korean manufacturers are interested in entering the burgeoning robot market, which can add value with related technology solutions. Hyundai Motor Group, for example, has been collaborating with Boston Dynamics to create more advanced robots in the supply chain management, construction, and safety fields. In this modern era, the dominance of technology is spread all around. Now our life has become incomplete without modern machines and equipment. Today, the world is developing double daily and quadruple the night. The trend of making human robots has also increased a lot. It seems that we are risking our existence for our own selfishness and comfort. There is no doubt that in the coming few decades when human robots will be ready in large numbers, robots will dominate this earth, not us. So, we have to take our decisions very carefully. Otherwise, the end of human civilization is certain. Alright, that's all for this video. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, consider leaving a like and subscribe to the channel for more updates.